Hi, welcome to another video. I know that there have been a lot of testing videos these days. Man, what should I do? There are just so many models launching at the end of the year that I just can't do anything. But today's video is another testing one. And this time, it's about the new upgrades to DeepSeek V2.5. So, DeepSeek has launched a new version of their DeepSeek V2.5 model called 1210, which is now the final iteration of the V2.5 model, and the DeepSeq 3 model will come next. But if we talk about this model, then this model now raises the bar across benchmarks for math, coding, writing, and roleplay. Roleplay and writing show the biggest improvements, while coding shows a smaller but notable improvement. Math also shows some great improvements as well. Apart from that, the DeepSeek chat platform also now allows you to do web searches as well, all for free, which is great to see. I mean, it doesn't cost $200, so that's good. But let's test it out now. But before we do that, let me tell you about today's sponsor, Ninja Chat. Ninja Chat is an all-in-one AI platform that gives you access to more than 10 models like Claude 3.5 Sonnet, GPT 4.0, Gemini, and even image generation models like Flux, and video generation models like Kling, and much more, all in one place, for a price that's even cheaper than one chat GPT membership, starting at only $11. Not just that, they have a bunch of AI tools that can help you use these models in intricate ways. They have also recently added an artifacts feature to their platform that now allows you to generate code, preview it, and share it with others using preview links, which is great. It can even run Python code and create charts. You can check them out through the link in the description and make sure to use my coupon code KING25 to get an additional 25% off these already great deals. So, this new model is available openly, and you can also use it locally, but it is probably not as feasible, because this is a 236 billion parameter model with about 16 billion active parameters, and running it locally is pretty challenging. So, there's that. But it's available completely free, and without any limits on their chat platform. So, let's test it out through there. Before we do that, let me show you how you can use the new search feature. So, you can just hit the search option here, and then you can just ask it for something new, and it can make searches, and then give you the results summarized accordingly, which is pretty cool to be honest. And it's free, so that's super cool as well. Now, let's test it out with these 13 questions. I'm working on some new questions as well. Anyway, the first question is, tell me the name of a country whose name ends with Lia. Give me the capital city of that country as well. The answer to this could be Canberra, or any capital of a country whose name ends with Lia. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and it's correct. So, let's mark it as a pass. Now the next question is, what is the number that rhymes with the word we use to describe a tall plant? The answer should be three, because it rhymes with tree. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer, and it's not correct. So, let's mark it as a fail. The next question is, there are five people in a house, A, B, C, D, and E. A is watching TV with B, D is sleeping, B is eating a sandwich, and E is playing table tennis. Suddenly, a call comes on the telephone. B went out of the room to pick up the call. What is C doing? The answer should be that it cannot tell, because it isn't mentioned, or I'll also accept if it says that C is playing table tennis with E. Let's send it and see. So, here's the answer. Let's mark it a pass as well. Now, the next question is, Name an English adjective of Latin origin 
that begins and ends with the same letter, has eleven letters in total, and for which all vowels in the word are ordered alphabetically. The answer could be something like transparent. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is not correct. So, this is a fail. The next question is, Courtney said that there were 48 people, but Kelly said that Courtney had overstated the number by 20%. If Kelly was right, how many people were there? The answer should be 40. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's mark this as a pass. Now the next question is, I have two apples, then I buy two more. I bake a pie with two of the apples. After eating half of the pie, how many apples do I have left? The answer should be two. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is also correct. So, let's mark it a pass. The next question is, Sally is a girl. She has three brothers. Each of her brothers has the same two sisters. How many sisters does Sally have? The answer should be one. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer, and this is correct. So, let's mark this as a pass. The next question is, If a regular hexagon has a short diagonal of 64, what is its long diagonal? The answer should be 73.9. Let's send it and see. Here's the answer, and this is correct. So, this is a pass. Now the next question is, Create an HTML page with a button that explodes confetti when you click it. You can use CSS and JS as well. Let's send it and see. Okay, here's the answer. And if I run it, then this works pretty well. So, this is a pass. Now the next question is, Create a Python program that prints the next X leap years based on user input. Let's send it and check. Okay, here's the answer. Let's run it and check. Okay, this works pretty well. So, this is also a pass. The next question is, generate the SVG code for a butterfly. Let's send it and see. So, this isn't that much of a butterfly. So, this is a fail. The next one is, create a landing page for an AI company. The landing page should have four sections, header, banner, features, and contact us. Make sure that the landing page looks sleek and modern. You can use HTML, CSS, and JS. Let's send it and see. Okay, it's now done. And if we preview this, then you can see that this looks pretty good. So, this one's a pass. The next question is, write a game of life in Python that works on the terminal. Let's send it and see. Here's the code. Let's run it and check. Okay, so this doesn't work well. Let's mark it a fail. Now, this is the final chart. I think that the model is good and works well, although with the new models catching up, it is starting to feel dated. So, I hope that they launch the new DeepSeek V3 model soon. But many people use DeepSeek because of the pricing, as it's, like, too cheap, to be honest. And people who use it should now have pretty better results. It works pretty well. I think that the best part about the model is pricing, and the price-to-performance ratio is really great. The DeepSeek R1 is also in the works, so that's also good. I think that DeepSeek is a company that I like to follow because they bring some cool new stuff, which is generally great. I think that this model is great, and to be honest, it works pretty well, and the cost is what makes it so good. So, these new upgrades are great if you use them, and it's super cool to use. Overall, it's pretty cool. Anyway, let me know your thoughts in the comments. If you liked this video, consider donating to my channel through the Super Thanks option below, or you can also consider becoming a member by clicking the Join button. Also, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel.
I'll see you in the next video. Till then, bye.